Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. We have a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 17672, a Redstone 5 build for Windows Insiders on the fast ring and skip ahead. Unlike the last couple of builds, there's not that many changes with this build. Uh, there's more under the hood stuff and the main one is our Windows Security Center now requires antivirus products to run as a protected process to register. Um, which means that uh, the AV products have to be updated to support that. If they don't, then you're going to still have Windows Defender running side by side. So this is Windows Security uh, Center and uh, Windows Defender is running currently um, because I use that anyway on this machine. But that's the, the main change. There is a setting and registry key if you want to turn that off um, to make it sort of work how the old version worked. Um, this is Microsoft's enhanced security enhancements for Windows 10 going forward. So the AV products need to be updated to support that. Okay, what other changes are in this one? Well, they're all minor changes, really. They fixed the issue where it was stuck on preparing to install, which many of you have seen, uh, 80 to 100% it's stuck on that. That's been fixed. They fixed the issue with right-click text in Edge didn't work properly. They've uh, fixed some action center issues. Um, they fixed start menu issues, PDF issues, some gaming bar issues. Um, so lots of lots of fixes, and of course you've still got in there the features like sets, and um, you've got the new clipboard features as well. Like there's the cloud clipboard from last week when I was doing the build videos. So those are the changes really, there's not a lot with this one, it's a lot under the hood stuff. There are uh, some known issues, if you're Windows Mixed Reality, you would avoid this build because your controls don't work when you're working in immersive games and um, some of the setup issues as well. Also a known issue is you can't enable the developer mode on this build. So you can't uh, switch the, you know, change these settings you can't do that and there's no workaround so if you're a developer and you need that then again avoid this this build as well but other than that that are the changes in the build not a huge amount of changes under the hood changes as they continue so some builds get features some will get other hood changes and uh, I still like sets I do very much like how, how that works kind of clipboard new screen clip and so on but you can see more on the digitallifestyle.com you can look back at all the previous builds including right back to the very first previews of windows 10 i'm at iStix on twitter thanks for watching